Hello and welcome to Lecture 2, Fluff Body Aerodynamics. Today we're going to continue our discussion of uh, fluid mechanics focusing on things that are relevant for external flows and we'll move on from our primarily discussion related on to inviscid flows from last time and move on to the, to the dynamics of viscous external flows. We'll use this as a, also a way to introduce wind tunnel testing and dimensional analysis, um, including Reynolds number and force coefficients. We'll expand our use of the integral momentum theorem to flows with friction, and we'll talk more about boundary layers and flow separation. Finally, we'll do an overview of the drag behavior of bodies in external flow. So the key messages to take away from today's lecture are that in incompressible flow, uh, the force coefficients depend purely on Reynolds number. And integral momentum is a technique that allows us to calculate the net forces on objects without having to integrate surface pressures and shear stress distributions on those objects surfaces themselves. And pressure drag is caused by flow separation uh, which in turn is caused by adverse pressure gradients. So let's start by thinking about a wind tunnel test. So the aim of our test is to determine the drag on a vehicle. So let's think of the full scale, full size, the real vehicle for now. Now if we're driving this vehicle on the road, uh, the vehicle is moving forward at some velocity v, uh, let's say the road is stationary um, and the air is also roughly stationary. We'll say that there's, there's no wind. Now let's consider putting that same car into a big wind tunnel with the incoming air speed at the same speed V. What else do we need to do with our wind tunnel to ensure the flow is the same around the car as it is on the road? So I want you to stop and think about this for a few moments and try to come up with an answer for yourself before you move on to the next part of the video 